surprised you. Where have you been? I've been in New Jersey, man. I got uh, got away from racing for a while and kind of always been riding, taking my little brother riding. And I mean, just kind of living life, you know? I got out of that routine that I thought pretty much was life racing, you know? Like, I got so used to that, I thought that's what it was all about. And just spent time with my family and I've been back, but um, I'm looking to get back into it. Right now, I want to ride, I'm trying to set something up. So I'm out here in California doing something with Utopia, out here at Pala riding today. How does it feel to be back in, uh, in the SoCal scene that you're trying to get away from? I don't know. I was kind of bummed on coming out here to tell you the truth. I wanted to just come in and get right out. But um, I'm staying at Hanson's house, which is killer, you know, to stay with someone like Hanson who I haven't seen in so long. And uh, it's great to just catch up with buddies. Like Hill came down, I saw them. We all just kicked it last night. Kind of slumber partied out, so it was killer. The internet's blowing up with just rumors that you're here. I, mean, I don't even go on the internet. It's still such a big interest I don't know. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's cool that that those people just shows that there's a lot of people that were really true fans. You know, I know there was a lot of haters, I guess you call them, but I mean, it's great that people are still interested and that people will even care that I'm coming back racing. You know, I mean, it would be understandable if, if nobody cared. Uh, you miss her? Did you miss it while you're gone? I mean, to tell you the truth, I don't, I didn't really miss the race, and I just realized I missed some of the people. You know, that was all my friends were tied in with racing in some sense, and I got so away from racing and riding that I lost contact with everybody pretty much. So, kind of starting to build some new relationships back. You know, rebuild some old relationships, and it's good. You know, I'm actually. While I wasn't racing, I wasn't ever really thinking, oh, I wish I was racing. But now that I'm kind of at the beginning steps of getting back into it, I'm kind of wishing I would have done it a little sooner. How do you feel on that? I feel all right. I've been riding a Yamaha um, in Florida. Been staying down there for like a month riding, and I've been riding a Yamaha. And got the Suzuki today. Took me, uh, took me a minute to shake it down. But once I got everything set, I started feeling comfortable. Track's pretty good, and uh, I feel all right. I mean, I definitely don't feel like I felt at my prime, but it's so much fun. It's it's crazy. It's almost like the the least that you're dialed in. You know, like if you're really dialed in and you're out there, you can't even really get like enjoyment out of it. You can just get like satisfaction of like, okay, I did it again today. I did my motos perfect. And for me, it's kind of like I'll be messing up a corner more than I'll be acing it. So when I get an ace, I'm like. Yeah, you know, it's like a little dose of serotonin into your brain. It's great. So, are you in fact coming back to Nationals? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. My whole thing, though, is I was trying to keep it quiet and just stay down with my grandparents in Florida and ride and get, uh, you know, get myself going to where I felt 100% before I even told anybody that I was going to race, you know, just because I don't want people I don't want people to think I'm just doing that again, like crying wolf type thing, because I almost did that two years in a row, you know, telling people I was going to race and didn't. But, I mean, my head's in it. I really want to race. And obviously, I'm a lot farther along the process this year than I have been the last two years. So, if you're ever going to see me race, it's going to be 2013. So. Any, uh, anything sorted out yet? No. Um, yeah, I'm looking to do a deal with Suzuki City. That was somebody who... He always kind of hooked me up the whole time, even when I told him I had no plans to race the one year, and he said, don't even worry about it. You know, he's been giving me parts and bikes that's kept me going and kept me riding when I wanted to. Otherwise, I probably would have, wouldn't even be back at this point because I wouldn't have kept riding because I wouldn't have bought a bike or done anything like that. Michael from Suzuki City, he hooked me up, man. I mean, I really appreciate it, and I really got to thank him because, you know, he kept me going on bikes and stuff like that when, he, there wasn't really anything in it on his end, and he knew it. And uh, you know, he was doing all that out of hopes that when I do come back and race, that it'll be with him. So I feel kind of like I owe it to him, but at the same time, I, it seems like a great thing, and I would love to work with him and do it. So I heard a story about you wanted to race, and you went and found a tire in the woods in your old track or something. Oh, that's the beach race by my house. Actually, out at my track, I, I throw some old tires out there after I take them off. 
And I, like, I got this sick setup where I, I dig with the ax a little hole and I stand the tires up and then I throw some dirt back over it so it lines the track real nice. Like, I'm meticulous about how my track's lined and how, how it's groomed. But uh, yeah, rough times, tough, <laughs> tough, <laughs> tough times call for tough measures, I guess. So uh, yeah, I had to pull one of those babies out and put it on. Like all the knobs are gone at the end or something? Yeah, well, at the end, a third of the knobs were gone. Like, just where it was in the dirt, you know? But that was one of my low points. So are you excited to come back? Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of stressing on it, you know? Like, I have no feel for where I'm at or who's good, who's what, you know? I, I've been, like, nothing more than just your casual fan for the past two years. I watch the races, but... I don't follow the things on the internet, and I know you can find out 10 times more about what's going on on the internet than you can just by watching the race and what they tell you. So, I mean, obviously I can see who's fast, a lot of the same guys, but it seems like a lot of, seems like the five through 12 guys bridge the gap. You know, it seems a lot tougher now. Like, it seemed like before, if you knew what you were doing at all, you could five through 10 it. Now it kind of seems like the top 10's tough. Uh, how old are you? <laughs> 25. Well, you're 25. You have maturity and experience on your side. Who said that? Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just messing. You're 25 now. You've got the maturity that comes with being older. You're going to pair it with your raw talent. Hey, you better hit handsome with an interviewer. I'll tell you that. He's telling me I sold out over here. I'm just trying to get people to buy in. I'm not selling out. Yeah, so you're saying I got, you were just building me up is pretty much all you were doing right there. You said I'm mature, good looking, tons of talent. So, maturity now. You're going to come back and approach it differently? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I can already see it the way I'm riding in Florida. Like, it used to be a drag for me to do some motos. And, like, that's kind of all I've been into lately. You know, like, I've been doing that, trying to build some fitness, a little bit of working out, things like that. So, I mean, I think it's going to be good. The key thing for me is just going to be getting everybody in place and having equipment that's good enough to be competitive, and I don't see why I can't. Come on, bro. Last thing, I guess. What do you have to say to the people that have always been interested in you and supported you? And what do you have to say to the Thank you. Well, say thank you, for real. I mean, you guys kept me going. And honestly, there's a lot of people that say bad things. I'm aware of that. But it's it, whenever I've looked at those things, there's always been one person saying I love them for a couple people that say something stupid. And the people that say something stupid, you can't even worry about them. There's always going to be those guys. But um, thanks, man. You know, it's great. Like, I can't believe it. it. It feels good to still have some kind of support and be able to do it.